So this, this is uh, my sixth year at Velocity, and I, I love coming to Velocity, not just because half the audience here has our mobile app in their pocket, so I don't have to explain what we do, but because we're actively involved in figuring out what the future of ops is with you, and how that moves from being somebody who sits quietly in the back office waiting for something to break, to somebody who's actually involved in scaling up and improving the customer experience. And we started years ago, many of you were with us, with, with solving the problem of mean time to acknowledgement. You can't fix something if you don't know it's broken. And we, we did that uh, with all the glory that, uh, that uh, I guess, a $10 WordPress theme can get you. And this, this holds a sweet spot in my heart because this is the last marketing site where the marketing team let me do whatever I want with it. And so we A-B tested all of these things, and we realized that there was an actual problem with getting the right person every time. You, had, you were carrying an on-duty pager, uh, but it didn't give you the ability to escalate. It didn't give you the ability to go off call for an hour. It didn't give you visibility into who was on call. So we solved that problem for you, and many of you have been with us since the beginning of that journey. But it was always in the service of fixing your mean time to resolution. Getting somebody on the problem is only the first of many steps towards resolving the problem. And so over the past couple of years, we've introduced a bunch of tools in that space. Uh, if you're an incident commander looking at multiple services, we release the Operation Command Console. So you can either see a 30,000 foot view of everything that's going on, or you can dive in and focus on a particular issue, or you can see uh, with our infrastructure health module what the blast radius of a particular problem is, what's affected, what's upstream. If you're a responder, we made it uh, easier for you to do all the things that you need to do to add um, additional responders, to spool up a conference call, to spool up a chat, uh, to add stakeholders so that you're proactively notifying them instead of them calling you. And the ability to, to embed graphs, the ability to embed runbooks, the ability um, to run custom logic from within PagerDuty. These are all exciting things that we're, we're looking forward to scaling up, and we're always going to be there to improve the response. To that end, we've actually started sharing our response documentation. This has been very popular. People in this room today have actually submitted pull requests against this, and we've started doing training. But what's this all in the service of? What comes next? And we realized, talking to the best ops teams and, and the aspiring best ops teams, there's a problem that all of you have that we're not helping you with, and I want to think out loud about what we're going to do there. And it's solving your mean time to promotion. What do we do? How do we get you credit for what didn't break? Because if I'm looking at it from the outside, these two numbers look very similar to me. But they represent, and everyone here knows that, they represent an order of magnitude difference in sophistication of your processes, of your tooling. How do we let your boss know that, you are, uh, that a 5-9 team is significantly better than a 4-9 team? Because looking out, I don't know who has 5-9s, who has 3. I don't know who somehow convinced their boss that uh, planned maintenance windows are an acceptable thing to have in 2017, because they're not. And you can quote me on that. So we've been, we've been rolling out a few things. We've been dipping our toes. And one thing I'm surprised to report is actually making a difference is, in, is ticketing integrations. We originally rolled this out because executives were saying, you know what, my ServiceNow tickets are really important. I want them you know, to wake somebody up at 3 a.m. You guys do that. Wake this person up. And we did that. But we did it bidirectionally. And there was this beautiful emergent behavior where the teams, and I don't want to generalize, but nobody in this audience likes filing tickets in BMC Remedy. But that's the way the rest of the organization knows what you're up to. So by doing that, they understand what you're up to, and it buys you the air cover for what you really want to be working on, which is prevention. If we could describe what I do at PagerDuty in a more charitable way, it's making sure more people in this room get to spend more dinners with their families. We want you to use your experience being a firefighter to become the best building inspector out there and to build a more reliable product. To that end, we're making it slightly easier to eat your vegetables. We're covering them in butter. We're making a post, we built a post-mortem builder, right? This is, we talk to the best ops teams. What do you do? Okay, we're going to make that super easy for everyone to do. We're going to automatically import everything we know about in PagerDuty or in your, your, uh, um, your chat tools, and we're going to pre-populate it. We're going to ask you some simple questions. Because long-term, what we want to do is we want to get you to be a profit center. Software is eating the world, but before it can get to the table, it needs to go through us. So you have a meaningful chance to, a meaningful obligation to improve your customer experience. Faster deploys, better tools, um, higher reliability are all things that directly influence the customer's feeling about you, how quickly they expand, how much they buy. So what we're doing and what we're watching is ops transition from this quiet back room where people watched uh, blinking lights and periodically ran shell scripts to a world where you're meaningfully 
figuring out the processes. You're figuring out how to make things faster, what tooling we can use. And we've been calling this digital operations management to highlight the fact that it's the people training the machines to perform better rather than the people cleaning up after the machines. And we're, it's a journey that we're very excited to be on with you. And uh, we hope you stick with us. Thanks.